Marine change your habitat too. I'm not touching the animals, so you shouldn't too. Oh my god, the onslaught are still here. So you know onslaughts? Uh, they actually, like sea slugs in general, they actually inspire one Pokemon known as Gastrodos. And look, they're all still here! Wait, is this gonna be a Pokemon episode? Oof. Why not? Du, 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 du. The wrong franchise! This is the Big Pimply on Slugs. And why it's called Big Pimply on Slugs? Because it's as though its whole body is covered in pimples. And then, just like the Pokemon Gastrodos, which has a power known as. Sticky hole. Sticky hole, yes, yeah, sticky hole, because it sticks and it holds there. So it's like the onslaught. The onslaught has sticky hole kind of power too. The base is a big fat suction and you can hold on and grip onto rock. And this is important when the waves are very strong because they don't want to get dislodged off and like fly into the seas. These are limpets. So limpets, they are they look like barnacles but they are actually not. They are actually snails, you know. Once they find a spot, right, they will make it their home. They will create a small little circle around it and whenever they go and feed, they will come back to the same resting spot. Yeah, we cannot get down from like there because I'm a slippery person. I will slip and fall and die. This is a bivalve, so groups under bivalve includes the clam and the shells and your oysters. So, you know, clam pearl, shelter, the Pokemon, they are probably inspired by this real life bivalve clam. So, shells, they have two abductor muscles here and here, and that controls whether they open or close the shells. So Clamper and Shelter, they have this ability called Clam, which is to clam stuff. Yeah, so they cap, cap, they make use of their abductor muscles. There's cucumbers everywhere again! As you guys might have known from the previous episode, we've found a lot of it. And it's by the Pokemon, Pukumuku! So Pukumuku has this ability where it vomits out all its innards and it will damage the opponent. So see cucumber does that too. But it doesn't actually damage the predators, it actually just scares them away, you know. I mean like they say like the full blast of intestine, then the predator will be like, ah then they will take this moment to faster escape. Why are there more things in the seagrass? Because seagrass it provides number one food for some of the animals. Number two is a good habitat, a good camouflage. And number three actually blocks them from the currents as well. So it's a very good and safe place to live. Yo, what's up? Who are you waving to? The sea star. You see as one of his arms up. From what I observed, they only move when their arms are up, then they will start to move, then they go down. Then they oop, then they and go down. Just like the sea cucumber, they actually belong to the same family, meaning that it can actually like, you know, regurgitate out its stomach if they want to, and that's usually for the prey. They will, you know, regurgitate the stomach into the clam and eat whatever it is inside. So it inspired Starmie and Staryu of Pokemon. This is a mini carpet anemone. I think it kind of looks like the Pokemon Mariani. Although that one, it was inspired from a sea star. But personally, I feel that they look pretty much alike. So sea anemones, they don't actually stay in one position. They have the ability to actually prop themselves up and then glide along the floor to find another location if it's more suitable. Uh, yeah, I'll probably leave it alone and let them find their own place, okay? This stupid crab wants to attack me. This is a sea hair. We didn't find this, you know, the previous time. So I'm so happy. This is my first time finding it. It's super cute. It looks like a like a, literally a rabbit in the sea. And I guess that's what it's called, sea hair. So sea hairs, they are actually gastropods. They are sea slugs. They have this two flap that covers on top, the center. When in the ocean, they will use the flap to swim. So they will come out and like few, 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 few. Sea bottle. Sea cup. Sea Oreo. Sea monoku. They inspired the Pokemon Grimer, which represents like sea pollution in the Pokemon world. Once again, we found the moat of the coastal horseshoe crab. And when they moat, right, they really literally moat everything, including like, you know, the outer covering of the eyes. You can see the eyes here, like. Super duper cool. And inspired the Pokemon Kabuto. And just like Kabuto, so Kabuto was like found like isolated like for 300 million years like somewhere in the island in the Pokemon world. So it's the same as the real world. Nothing much has changed about its body structure. So in evolutionary history, it was able to survive and preserve its general body from all the way since the dinosaur times. So Barnacles inspired the Pokemon. Barbara, Bar, 
But something I don't know, Baba Black Sheep, whatever. So every bunny girl, right, they actually have both the male and female parts, but they don't do self fertilization. So the male organ, the ding dong, right, they can actually grow like eight times the length of its original length, you know. So it will grow all the way out and then try to find a female and, like, you know, like. Oh my god, it's a catfish! It has the whiskers, which is known as barbells, and that is like the sensory organ where they use to find food in the water. Do you know? What? There's a Pokemon called Whiskash, and that's inspired by a catfish. Really? What does it look like? Yeah, it looks like this. Where? Oh, this normal body is overturned. Let me flip it back. So this is a snail known as the noble volute. So a really beautiful big snail, usually over harvested because of you know shell collection trade. And interestingly, it will fit with a cipher which will be sticking out from here. Oh, there you see it's coming out. Ooh. Is it an oyster? How come an oyster here? Singapore have oysters. Really man? Yeah, but we don't really eat them because we only eat the farm ones because oysters they are filter feeders, so if you Take it from here, you eat it, you're just gonna eat all this junk. Yeah, but we have the guys back there caught an octopus. Yes, we actually have octopus in Singapore and they are not say super rare if you can find it. One of the most intelligent animals in the world, let me tell you. So sad, everyone just out fishing already, that's when you know it has ended. <sighs> We've come to the end of Marine Treasure Hunt Part 2. Hello today. The Sears! This is my first time seeing it and I saw the three of them! It's so cute! So have you guys seen any of the animals that we saw today? Share with us your experience in the comments below! Just keep thinking!